How's it going, comic book fans? Welcome back to another comic book review on Comic Drops. Today, we're diving into a comic that's been described as a mix between The Silence of the Lambs and All Dogs Go to Heaven, namely Stray Dogs Number 1. But can a story about adorable dogs really deliver the chills and thrills of a psychological thriller? We're about to find out if Stray Dogs is as good as you guys said it is. And remember, if you haven't already, follow us on X for more updates and discussions about your favorite comics. All right, let's get started. After getting so many comments requesting this review, I decided it was time to jump back into Stray Dogs and really examine its story and visuals. This story is written by Tony Fleeks, known for his diverse storytelling abilities, and this issue immediately sets up a chilling mystery. The comic opens with Sophie, a skittish dog being taken to the vet by her owner. Sophie's fear is palpable as she quivers in the clinic, terrified of the needle for her kennel cough vaccine. This scene does more than just set the tone, however. It foreshadows Sophie's fragile emotional state and her difficulty with remembering things. This detail is crucial as it becomes a narrative device throughout this issue and later on in the series. After the vet visit, the narrative shifts abruptly. Sophie is now at a large, unfamiliar house and instead of a woman, a man carries her in. This sudden change is jarring and immediately raises questions. What happened to her owner? How did Sophie end up with this man? Also, this house is full of other dogs, each with distinct personalities, led by Rusty, the apparent alpha male of the pack. He warmly welcomes Sophie, showing her around and introducing her to other dogs like Victor, Gucci, and Henry. However, Sophie remains confused and scared, further amplified by her unclear memories. As Sophie tries to adjust, the atmosphere shifts from welcoming to ominous. The man who brought her in is referred to as the master, and while the dogs seem to trust him, Sophie's unease grows. Her interactions with the other dogs reveal her fragmented memory. However, she can't recall her past clearly, which builds suspense for the reader. And then a flashback hits her hard. She remembers that the red scarf that was given to her by the man was also used by that same man to strangle her previous owner. This revelation is a turning point, confirming her fears that the man is dangerous, possibly a serial killer who collects trophies from his victims. Sophie's attempt to warn the other dogs about their master's true nature is met with skepticism and disbelief. The dogs trust their master blindly and are unable to fathom him as a killer or a murderer. This sets up an interesting conflict where Sophie is alone in her knowledge, doubted by those around her. The issue ends on a chilling note with Sophie's memory fading again, just as she convinces Rusty to help her uncover the truth, leaving readers with a cliffhanger ending. This narrative cleverly combines elements of suspense, horror, and psychological drama, drawing readers deeper into this mystery. The visuals for Stray Dogs issue number one are handled by the creative team of Trish Forstner on pencils and Brad Simpson on colors, and they play a critical role in shaping the comic's unique tone. The art style initially feels like a comforting nod to classic animated films, with clear expressive line work and vibrant colors that evoke a sense of warmth and nostalgia. This choice, however, is a clever subversion that contrasts sharply with this dark narrative. Forstner's pencil work focuses heavily on the dog's expressions and their body language, effectively conveying their emotions and adding depth to their personalities. Sophie's wide-eyed fear and uncertainty are rendered with such precision that you can almost feel her anxiety through the page. Each dog is distinct, not just in breed but in character, and the artwork beautifully captures these nuances, making them feel like fully realized characters despite their non-human nature. The decision to obscure the humans' faces, 
drawing them as detached, faceless entities, reinforces the idea that this story is told from the dog's perspective. This artistic choice also adds to the sinister atmosphere, suggesting that the true threat is hidden, just out of sight, much like the faceless danger that lurks in Sophie's memories. The color palette is another standout aspect of this comic's visual storytelling prowess. Simpson uses colors to differentiate between the past, the present, and to reflect Sophie's emotional state. For example, the scenes in the vet's office use cool, muted tones that reflect Sophie's fear and her discomfort, whereas the scenes in the house have warmer, more saturated colors that create a false sense of security. The flashback scenes are drenched in red hues, symbolizing danger and trauma, effectively pulling readers into Sophie's traumatic memories. The use of perspective is also noteworthy here. Forstner often shifts to Sophie's viewpoint, which helps immerse readers in her experience. The shift to close-ups during Sophie's flashback sequences intensifies the sense of claustrophobia and fear, making these moments even more unsettling. The panels themselves change style also, depending on the scene's emotional tone, with the flashbacks having rough, jagged borders, contrasting with the clean lines of the present-day scenes. This subtle yet effective technique visually represents Sophie's fractured mental state and the horror of her reality. Overall, Stray Dogs issue number one is a masterclass in combining narrative and visual elements to create a suspenseful, emotionally charged story. The narrative slowly builds tension, using Sophie's unreliable memory to keep readers guessing and on the edge. The story's slow burn might not be for everyone, but it effectively sets up a chilling premise that promises to unfold in gripping ways in future issues. The art by Trish Forstner and colors by Brad Simpson elevate the story, turning what could have been a simple horror tale into a visually and emotionally rich experience. The contrast between the art style and the narrative content creates a unique dissonance that adds depth to the story, making it a standout issue that's hard to forget. If you enjoy stories that play with psychological horror and suspense while presenting them through a seemingly innocent lens, Stray Dogs issue number one is definitely worth picking up. It's a comic that lures you in with its charm and then keeps you hooked with its darker undertones. I'm glad I revisited this issue and I highly recommend you giving it a read. All right, that wraps up my review of Stray Dogs number one published by Image Comics. Be sure to comment below and let us know what you think about this issue. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And of course, follow Comic Drops on X for even more content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.